In Business Central, when posting to the journals, we have the capability to post using dimensions. Let's go take a look. When we search dimensions, we can see here we have five dimensions here. I'm going to use area as the example here today by going to dimension values and we can see that I've added states of the country. So they're just ACT, New South Wales, Northern Territory, Queensland, South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria, Western Australia. Now, in your general ledger setup, it allows you to point two dimension codes as your global dimensions. You also have shortcut dimensions that you can set. Now, I've set our global dimension two as area. So it means that it's going to appear when I'm using filters within the general ledger. So let's go chart of accounts. From here, I'm going to hit filter. And I'm going to filter. Here's one I've created earlier by the dimension ACT. And currently we have no transactions here sitting against ACT. Let's go see what a sale looks like. Let's go firstly to a customer and let's tag this customer with some dimensions. We're going to use Alpine key ski house. I'm going to go customer dimensions. And as you can see here, there's no dimension set. And I'm going to set a few customer group there in. And the region. All right. So against this customer, we're going to go make a sale. Actions, new document, sales order. I'm going to scroll down here and select an item which I know I have in stock. Scroll over and I can see here quantity of three and I'm going to remove my location. All right, just here. Uh, that's all I need to do at this stage. I'm going to um, mark this um, just here as quantity to ship. So I've set a quantity here of three. So in my quantity to ship, I'm going to say let's ship three. And we're going to invoice three. Posting, post, ship and invoice. Okay, let's go back and have a look at the impact on the general ledger. By hitting filter, we're going to filter totals by area filter, and I'm going to select ACT. I'm going to include a filter list by balance greater than zero. Now you can see the impact on that one transaction as it's moved all the way through from the balance sheet and the inventory movements through to sales, revenue and profit. Dimensions can also be applied in the same way against vendors, it can be stored against items. We can store dimensions against locations. So if you have multiple warehouse locations, it can be stored against your salesperson purchaser. For all sales and purchase transactions, it can be stored against resources. And when you store against each of these source uh, source uh, data sets, 
The dimensions will flow onto the sales or purchase transaction naturally, which means that you will always get your dimensions captured within your chart of accounts.